Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to make Dunkin' Donuts cold brew at home. So I'm a Jersey girl, but we moved to Texas and where we are living in Houston, there's not a lot of Dunkin' Donuts. We have to drive about 25 minutes to the closest one. So, and I'm just, I love it. I love Dunkin' Donuts cold brew more than I like Starbucks cold brew. It's probably an unpopular opinion, but that's just me. So I, needed to find a way to make it at home and I figured it out. This cold brew is the best that like, it tastes just like Dunkin' Donuts. So what you're gonna need is a device to make your cold brew. I found this one on Amazon, it's $35. It has almost 60,000 reviews and almost five stars. It's 64 ounces and it's, so simple, so easy to make, and I'm gonna show you what I do to make my cold brew at home. So basically, these two parts come apart. There's a lid here, and then there's uh, this kind of thumb, attaches to this. So basically, you wanna take this top part off of here. This is just kind of like a little coffee filter, and you're gonna just take your favorite Dunkin' Donuts coffee. I love the hazelnut. There's um, the French vanilla I also really love, but you know, depending on your preference, you don't have to use Dunkin' Donuts coffee, but this is just what I like. I find that it tastes so similar to an actual Dunkin' Donuts cold brew um, when you add you know, the sweeteners and stuff like that. So you just basically fill up this little filter thing all the way kind of to the top of the mesh part of it. And you can use any coffee that you like. You screw this other part on here, just like that. Then you take the lid, screw it on top of here. Then you fill up this with water. Okay, so I filled it up with water. I didn't fill it all the way up to the top. Um, I left a little bit of room here, as you can see, so that when I put this in, because you know it's got the coffee in it, it the water's gonna rise up, obviously. So, fill it up almost to the top, then literally all you do is put the coffee filter in the top. I like to kind of swirl it around a little bit and make sure that the coffee that kind of goes up into this upper area right here because the water pushed it up. I just make sure that it kind of like pushes down into um, the bottom filter so that it gets completely saturated with the water and it's not just like dry up at the top. I figured that out the hard way um, because one time when I first got this, I've had this for almost a year now and it truly is life-saving. $35 best investment to make cold brew that, you, that I've ever made. Um, so yeah, then I just kind of like swirl it around a little bit, make sure that all of the coffee is in the filter part. As you can see right here, it is. And then twist the lid on. And then all you're gonna do, pop it in the fridge, leave it overnight, what time is it? It's about 1.30 now, but I'm gonna leave it overnight and I'll probably catch up with you guys tomorrow morning when I take it out and that's all you do. Plop it in the fridge right next to my rosé. And then tomorrow, all you are gonna do is literally take the, the filter part out of it, dump it out, and your cold brew is gonna be ready. I will show you how I make my actual coffee tomorrow morning, but it's the simplest, quickest, easy thing. The coffee is so smooth and so creamy, not bitter whatsoever. Tastes exactly like a Dunkin' Donuts cold brew. So delicious. All right, I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow morning. Hi guys, I'm back. It's the next day. It's about 8.45 in the morning and my coffee has been sitting overnight in the fridge with all of the grounds just soaking through. So this is the simplest part. All you're gonna do is unscrew the top and I like to kind of shake it a little bit to get the coffee grounds that kind of moved up into this like top plastic part to go back into the filter part just to kind of like squeeze out any little like last bits of coffee. And literally all you do after that is just unscrew this. Okay, so you basically just have coffee grounds and if you have a garbage disposal, it's actually really good to put 
coffee grounds down your garbage disposal because it like cleans it out or something. Then you just take this part and detach it from the lid, rinse it off, rinse the lid off, take the lid, pop it back onto your cold brew. I like to give it a little bit of a shake because you'll see like a little sediment that's on the bottom. But now, is the fun part. Now you get to make your coffee. And so you can make it however you want. I actually buy the Tarani sugar-free syrups. So I love the taste of this hazelnut cold brew with the Tarani Irish cream. It's so delicious. So I'll just show you quickly how I make mine and it's the best. Like whenever I make it for my husband too, he's like, oh, this is like coffee shop quality. Okay. so. In the spirit of Duncan, I have just like a saved one from the weekend that we'll use. So here's my Irish cream. Look, it's almost gone because I use it so much. The Irish cream, I also, the vanilla bean, I also have and I like as well. But I do about three pumps, maybe three and a half. We're like on the end here. <laughs> Sorry about that. And then I'm just going to fill it up with ice. Okay, so I just have, I've got my sugar-free Irish cream syrup in here. I am just going to fill up the cup. And I put a lot of ice, you know, this is total my preference, but. And this, co this cold brew actually will last me, if I'm having, I usually have big coffees, so this is normal. I usually get about three and a half days worth of coffees out of this jug. I mean, obviously, if you're drinking a smaller portion than I am, you're, it's gonna take you a lot longer to finish it than three days, but. And then I love the heavy whipping cream. I have been doing keto ever since I had my, actually for about the last like five months because I'm trying to finally get the baby weight off and it's been working. So um, I kind of keep my fats up and my carbs down. So, and the heavy whipping cream, oh, this whole combination, Irish cream, the hazelnut cold brew and the heavy whipping cream all together, it's, Perfect. So here you got it. Let's take a sip. Oh, it's phenomenal. It's just so good. I love it. I 100% would like this cold brew maker is just a game changer. I cannot survive without it. It's one of these like holy grail items that I don't know how I was living for years and years before I got this, but it just makes the most smooth, rich, like creamy cold brew that you've ever had and then make your coffee however you like. But um, if you like a hazelnut Irish cream, ooh, it's delicious. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you decide to get yourself one of these cold brew makers and if you make the Dunkin' Donuts cold brew at home. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.